Hi folks. As you can see, I'm wearing my Shot of Hope t-shirt from Memorial Hermann Hospital where they're really sponsoring and advocating the vaccine. And what I wanted to talk about today was the mandates, the mandatory mandates in some of the cities and some of the companies and especially the hospitals. What we've seen over the past few weeks is a lot of companies, a lot of cities, and Chicago's one of them I'm going to talk about, have made a mandate for people that work there to get the vaccine. And if they don't get the vaccine, they'll be tested for once a week or once a day in the case of Fox News, or they just lose their jobs. They get a separation from work. Well, what's bothering me so much is that a lot of the nurses in New York state, almost every state have been protesting the mandate. And the other group of first responders is policemen and some fire departments are protesting the mandate, saying that they don't want to get the vaccine. Now, what bothers me about this is a year ago, in 2020, I saw on the news nurses crying about the people that they're serving, about how worked they are because of the vaccine, not because of the vaccine, but because of the coronavirus. They were on the air, they were crying about people they were losing, people couldn't visit their loved ones because there was nothing they can do to stop them from dying. We're at 730,000 plus deaths here in the United States alone from the coronavirus. And they are saying they don't want to get the vaccine. These same nurses a year ago who were saying, please wear your mask, please social distance. Now you have the vaccine. And the science shows that people that are vaccinated may indeed get the virus, but it's not as con transmittable with others, okay? And more than likely, you're not gonna be seriously hospitalized. There are outliers that happens to, and Colin Powell was an example, but he was 84 years old and he had a lot of underlying conditions, yet still he was vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I'm gonna get my booster probably whenever I get an opportunity now since they've uh, authorized Moderna to go ahead with the booster shots. But the thing about the mandates that what the companies are doing and what the cities and organizations that are requiring mandates are doing is trying to keep their employees safe and as well as the people that they come in contact with. Now, in the Chicago Police Department, the head of the Fraternal Order of Police is just telling his police officers, don't even tell the city whether you're vaccinated or not. He says, just, you don't have to do it. It's your choice to not do that. Yet, when I was in Illinois in 2019, in the early stages of the virus, there were police officers all over who were saying, we don't want to go onto calls unless we know if those people have the coronavirus or not. They were afraid to go into those places. Now they've got the tools to go ahead and do their job and to do it with respect and guidance and everything safely and yet and still the fraternal order of police the police unions are saying don't do it and the chicago mandate is not that bad what the mandate says is that if you don't get vaccinated you have to take a test every week to make sure that you're not coming down with the coronavirus nothing is being forced on anyone you have to take the test if you're not fine vaccinated so i don't know what the big deal is the nurses, you know, and, and I have all the respect for the nurses and I have some respect for the policemen and firemen, but you know, <laughs> the first responders, but they're the ones that complain the most about people not wearing the mask, people not social distancing and all the hospital being filled up. The doctors are talking about, we need something to happen. Then the vaccine came, something happened. And yet now and still those same nurses and these policemen and firemen are saying, don't do it. What's up with that? Gosh, and a lot of them are just quitting their jobs or leaving their jobs or posting videos saying, this is my last day on the job. Well, good for you. If you don't want to get a test to show that you have COVID or not, then that's up to you. But it's not like, you know, we're forcing you out. That's a decision that you choose. You chose not to get the vaccine and you choose to leave your profession. And a matter of fact, one of the last things that I heard about the deaths in the police departments those guys, that, that's someone's doing their yard back there. One of the deaths in the police department, more police officers have died from COVID than anything else in this year. So I don't know what it is. You know, people are just foolish. They're listening to bad advice. They're listening to everything else that just doesn't make sense. 
And it makes sense to me. If you get the vaccine, take the vaccine. If it's going to prevent you from losing your life. Now, the flu vaccine, that's another story. I'll get a flu vaccine this year, too. But, you know, <laughs> you just have to look at those things. This is a life-saving vaccine. And it's proven to save lives. Well, that's my two cents. It was kind of a rant, but, you know, that's the way I feel about it. Especially the nurses. I just can't understand them whatsoever. They're the ones that are asking us to be safe. Don't come to the hospital unless you necessarily have to. Well, don't come to the hospital if you're not vaccinated. Maybe they should say that. I don't know. We'll stop this. Well, that's all for night. Well, let me know what you think. If you think I'm on the right track, if you think whatever, you know, if you think I'm crazy, maybe I'm just blowing smoke here or something. I don't know. Whatever you think, just give me a comment down below and give me a like if you like the video. If you don't like the video, eh, do what you want, you know, but let me know what you think and what you think about what I'm saying. Okay, that's it for now. We'll see you on the next time.